What's good, guys? We're back at it again with another video. I just see from out of the title. It's finally AAU season again. Uh, I just posted in my community tab. I say all the time that's where I post updates on the channel, when I'm going to post, what I'm going to post. But you know, on the community tab, I just recently posted that, you know, we're going to AAU season. We're going to start getting back into the AAU breakdowns. I'm also going to give you tips on, you know, certain things about the circuit or how to get noticed by coaches. Actually, the as you see by the title of the video today is going to be, you know, AAU tips, you know, to get noticed by coaches to, to play better, things like that. Right. But like I said, when I posted that, somebody actually commented, you know, yeah, I need some tips. I'm going to be playing in Suwannee Sports Academy this upcoming weekend. And when I read that, it was kind of it kind of felt it kind of felt a little weird because, you know, if you all don't know, obviously I'm from Georgia. And really, if you played AAU basketball in the southeast or really not even in the southeast, if you played in America in general, at some point you played in Suwannee. Like I can't count how many games I've played there. You know, that 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 place plays a played a big part of my basketball career. I played so many tournaments, Bob Gibbons, you know, whatever invitationals Game of League got invited to. Or, you know, I did my elite camp there after my elite camp that I was nervous as mess to go to. Really was kind of didn't even really want to go. Had elite camp there for hoop scene. Obviously, I got ranked top 10 players in that camp. You know, uh, I think I got some of my biggest offers came from games after I played at Suwannee. So that place, you know, holds a special you know, spot in my heart. So, of course, I was excited. OK, let's bring it full circle. Let's bring back, you know, things that I had to learn on the fly that no one really taught me when I was playing at Suwannee. I can just bring that type of information to y'all. So today, like you saw, like I said before, today we're going to be talking about AAU tips, you know, that that can help you get noticed by college coaches. That can help you play better, get on the radar, right? I made a video about this, you know, around the same time last year. I'm going to, you know, link it. It's actually going to be like a card that's going to pop up, you know, right after this video ends, you know, where I talked about it, but I also talked about things that can, you know, you can lose your scholarship. But today I'm going to focus more on the, you know, the encore, because now that, you know, I've been a coach now for almost a year, right? And just being able to evaluate players myself, watch other teams, watch how other players, you know, hold themselves from a coach's point of view, not from a player. Because, you know, when you're on the court or you're just watching somebody as a player, you're just watching to see if he's nice or not. As a coach, I'm watching to see what are you doing? What's your off the court demeanor like? How are you walking? What's your body language? So I just wanted to bring that to all you guys. So let's jump right into it. First and foremost, you know, in terms of the best advice I can say to anyone who wants to play basketball in college and you're playing AAU, you're playing in front of coaches, you're playing on a stage, but you don't know, OK, how do I approach it? Because for most basketball players, let's be real, for most high school basketball players, you know, when you think of AAU and you think of getting noticed by college coaches, the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh, I need to score. I need to go out there and drop 30. Of course, it's AAU. No one really cares about plays. I just need to go out there and drop 30 and get off. I don't even need to pass and that's going to give me a scholarship offer. That's not the case, right? I tell this story all the time. I got my first high major offer in a game where I scored only two points. Two points. That might not seem realistic, but it's the truth. I've got, you know, games where I've gotten five offers after a game. I might have had five or six points, but guess what? I had a whole bunch of rebounds and a whole bunch of blocks, and I affected the game without scoring a lot of points. The biggest advice that I would give any high school basketball player when you're approaching AAU be a star in your role. Be a star in your role. I talked about it in the other video. You can go watch it. So we're talking about it a little bit here. You know, when these coaches go to these AAU tournaments, usually the tournament itself will provide a packet that they either have to pay for or they get it for free. And it'll have a list of, you know, every player that might play in college that has a potential. It'll have your name, height, weight, your handle, Twitter handle, Instagram, everything like that. All the information will give you a description and it'll give the coaches a description of how you play basketball, of how you play. So for me, it would say high motor, you know, rim runner, thing like that, finish above the rim, shot blocker, right? So when coaches would come watch me play, because for most, a lot of players don't understand this, when you get to college, you know, in high school, you're used to being the star player. You're used to being able to do what you want, take whatever shot you want, especially if you're a player who you know, you really, you're playing AAU at a high level and you, you're pretty sure like, yeah, I'm a college basketball player. More, more times than not in high school, you were that guy. You know, your team trusted you to take whatever shot. They trust you to make these shots. But once you get to college, you guys got to realize that there's already guys that already were that. And now they're that in college. So you're not, you rarely are you coming into college 
and there's not already a 20 point score, 17 point per game score. There rarely are you going into a program and there already isn't a main guy. The only guys that can kind of circumvent that are the five stars. You know what I'm saying? The players that are the one and dones, then okay. They, they get that leeway. They can take those shots, right? But for the most part, for most college basketball players, you're going into a role. That's why I say approach AAU, be a star in your role. The first thing a coach is going to realize is if I'm looking at on this pack and it says you do this, this, and this, and I walk and I walk in the gym and I see a big man that like, let's just say it was me. And it says rim runner, you know what I'm saying? Rim runner, rim protector, you know what I'm saying? Kind of raw on the block and do a little bit, but nothing too much. But they see me getting the rebound and I'm pushing and I'm turning the ball over or I'm trying to open up and off the block and kind of jab and do step backs. They're going to see, okay, that's not his game. He's, he's, he's obviously just trying to do something else. That's not what he's good at. Coaches realize that right away. So when I say be a star in your role, if you're a shooter, focus on being the best shooter in that gym that day. If you're a defender. Make sure you are the best defender in the gym that day you are locking up every player that gets in front of you if you are a scorer make sure you're scoring within the offense make sure that you're not really doing too much because a lot of coaches don't like to see the da -da 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 -da, oh I'm, I'm you know what i'm saying and then uh finish with like a contested step back a lot of coaches don't like to see that they want to see if you can play within their system because for like i just said for the most part when you get to college you're going to be a role player at first, unless you're like a five star or a late bloomer who gets to college and all of a sudden you come into yourself and your game just expands that much, right? But that's just the on the court role part. Also on the court, you have to be able to show that you know how to play basketball. When I say know how to play basketball, that doesn't mean like, oh yeah, I understand the rules and I understand that you gotta put the ball in the rim and yeah, we got plays. No, I mean that as a big, I mean like as a big, if you have your guard is driving baseline, you understand how to come to the middle so you can get a drop off. Or if you're a guard or if you're a wing player and your point guard is driving at you, you understand to back cut so you can get that easy finish right there. Plays like that. Don't be not being stagnant on the perimeter, just standing there because in a lot of AAU, it's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. So you're not gonna see a lot of guys who Okay, you, they see their teammate working, but they see the defender that's guarding them, ball watching. Okay, I'm going to cut. I'm going to do this. Coaches see that, and I'm telling you, when coaches see a player who knows how to cut, who knows how to just make certain plays, make the simple reads, just really understand the game and understand all the different ways that you can score without having the basketball in your hand, I'm telling you, they take notice of this. If you're a shooter, understand how to okay, let me walk my defender down, act like I'm not really doing anything, then fly out full speed, get my feet set, knock down jumper. They notice all these things. They just notice guys who understand how to play the game, not just guys who can, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Clear out. Let's go to work. I got all this bad. <clears throat> let me really show you what I can do. Like, coaches notice guys who can really, like, understand the game and can play it at an extremely high level, right? And just going more into the simple plays, Simple plays, I'm telling you, I said it in that other video, the reason why I feel like Zion, like I was, I knew from the jump, like this dude was going to the league is, I said it, he would miss, just make everything look so simple. The best players make basketball look so simple. If you watch the NBA, it might look like, oh yeah, you know, it's amazing what they're doing, but they make it look so easy, which is why everyone out there who doesn't play in the NBA has this notion that, you know, they can compete on that level. Like, oh, you know, the last player on the bench, I would beat him because they make it look that easy when, in, in fact, if he goes to a, a YMCA or a LA Fitness, he's dropping 80 points because, you know what I'm saying? They just make it look that easy because it's the work they put in. Now let's get into the, you know what I'm saying, the off the court, the body language things, right? So coaches will tell you all the time, you know, you know, coaches are always watching. Coaches are always watching. They're watching everything you do. I'm here to tell you coming from a coach now because when I made that video when I made that video a year ago I was a player and I still understood but now from the coach's seat I'm telling you watch they watch coaches we watch everything everything that happens on the court right you miss a shot if I'm a coach and you miss a shot and I see you get your head put your head down and man whatever and you don't get back on defense because you're mad at yourself I'm taking note of that 
if there's a loose ball on the ground and you decide, oh, I just kind of want to reach for it, I don't want to dive on the ball, I'm taking note of that. I'm taking note of everything. A ref calls a foul on you. Oh, ref, I ain't do rah, 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 rah. I'm taking note of that. And here's actually one thing that I didn't mention in that last video that I actually just saw a tweet about and I've you know, talked to different coaches about. And parents need to understand this. Coaches are watching your parents too. Coaches watch your parents too. Players and parents can lose and get players a scholarship. So if you are a parent, you have to understand that a coach does not want to see a parent on the sideline when your son doesn't get a shot or, you know, there's another player on the court who's, you know, who's taking all the shots or doing this, this and that. And your son is getting the shot. They don't want to see a parent on the sideline. My son need to do this. Why you not? Why you take my son out the game? They're taking note of this. Actually, no college coach, no college coach in the country is going to deal with a parent when you're on national TV playing in front of thousands and your son is in the game. They're not going to deal with the parent in the stands yelling in front of thousands of people. Everybody can hear. No coach is dealing with that. So as a parent, you have to understand just let the coach be the coach. Let the coach be the coach. If you have some input, tell your son after the game in the car ride home. Because, you know, if you're a hooper, you know them car rides home with pops telling you about yourself. Yeah, trust me, those are something. So save it for that. Do not go off on the coach. Uh, the coach that's coaching your son, the coach of the AAU team, because coach is on the baseline. Take note of that. Ah, you know, I don't know if I really want that guy. You know, his parents are kind of very involved and they're kind of overbearing. And they'll really affect our program. Because all it takes is one one negative person in a locker room can ruin an entire culture, can ruin an entire season. But all in all, I just want you guys to take note as you go into this AAU season, go into it with confidence, right? You should have been putting in all this work from high school, from those off days in high school where you were getting in the gym, still getting up shots. When you were at home dribbling, going outside, working on your game, come into it with confidence and understand that, you know, I have to do something on the court to separate myself from everyone else. We, I've made a thousand videos on it now about the transfer portal and how tough it is right now to get a scholarship. So when you step on that court, you the first thing you have to think about is, okay, what am I gonna do today that no one else on this court, no one else in this whole, let's just say it's Suwani, what am I gonna do today that no one else in Suwani is gonna do? What am I gonna do today? Even if that's, let me dive on the ground. Let me, if somebody gets a steal and I'm on the baseline guarding somebody that's in the corner, I'm going to sprint all the way down. I might not even get it, but I'm going to try. I'm going to give maximum effort at all times because I'm telling you, especially in this day and age with this portal and all these kids transferring, the, the amount of high-level talent that's out there right now that doesn't have a place to play, you have to give it everything you got when you step on that court. Everything. Everything. I was telling some of our kids at the prep now, like for these kids right now, 2022, 2023, I feel bad because when I was coming out, it wasn't the portal wasn't like this, wasn't jumping like it is now. Like there wasn't this much talent that just doesn't have anywhere to go. So I was thinking, okay, if I was, if I was, you know, if I was playing right now and I was coming out right now, would I still finish with 17 offers? Would I still finish with what I did? Then honestly, I can tell myself that I honestly think I would. You know why? Because I understood my role and I under I understood from a you know from an early early point and I had a coach that told me rebounding and blocking shots can get you paid. He told me that. That just stuck in my head. Kind of like Kawhi. Boy, man gets paid. It's stuck in my head. Do something that no one else out there is going to do. Everyone's going to want to score. Everyone's going to want to get off. Be the person who knows when to cut. Be the person who gets every rebound. Be the person who gets every loose ball, who locks down the best player, doesn't matter who you're playing. And I promise you, one day, you're going to be sitting at home, who is this? Who is this calling me? Oh, hi, this is Coach So-and-so, and we just want to say that we saw your game, and we just want to say, and I'm telling you, it's going to be one of the best days of your life. Like, so subscribe, turn on post notifications. Appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you want the one-on-one -on -one evaluations, subscribe or breakdowns, go on the channel, hit my website. Like I just said, like, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time with the next video.